I use a lot of things on a daily basis but never really share them with you guys. Those things probably my definite holy grail favourites all time. So would love to share with you guys. If you're interested in today's video then keep on watching. It's going to be very random but I hope you will like it. The makeup remove oil recently I'm using this one from this brand oh, 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 concentrate here you go this is one of their top star products i only recently started using it and i find it really good and now i didn't use any um eye makeup removal i'm just going to use the uh, use this one only and it can remove very well You know, if you are if you are oily skin, I would actually recommend to use oil-based makeup remover like this one. It's because once it's melt with water, it actually removes the face oil better than other face remover. This one is really good. It removes the whole face makeup because you know. I'm fairly lazy in a way, besides when you have a child, all you want to do is, you know, one thing can be multifunctional. And this why why I use this one, unless I was wearing very heavy eye makeup. Other than that, even with waterproofed eyeliners, like I'm having now and with mascaras, I just need to gently massage like this. and it will be removed. Don't wash it off immediately. You need to use uh, water just to gently massage it again, let it melt with water. You see, this is already fairly clean, but I still, if you're sensitive skin, you don't have to, but I still just make myself feel better. I still use a face cleansing foam. This is from a brand called VDVC, VDVC, this one. Come on, concentrate. This one is really good. I think it is um, very, this is very good for combined oil your skin and oil your skin. You just need a small amount and you get a very smooth, creamy foam. Now it's crystal clean. I like this. I like this one mainly because it cleans your face, clean your face properly, and it's the finishing. You know, once you're finished, you can tell your face when you touch your face, it's like you touch a clean plate without oil, but it doesn't like dry up and grip up your skin. Just to show you guys some other things I use. Um, I recently tried out the Sephora Grey Clay Mask. This one. Result is really good. Compare this one with, you know, the Kiehl's. Let me show you. Um, compare this two, I would say the result is very similar. It all can cleanse your pores very well. Um, I would say Kiehl's one is a little bit, the whole process of using Kiehl's is faster than Sephora's. But the product itself, Sephora is much more smooth and creamier, wetter than the Kiehl's one. So if you're in a rush, you only have like 10-15 minutes, I would recommend Kiehl's. Uh, for my skin, it only needs about less than 10 minutes to dry up completely, then I can wash it off. But for uh, Sephora's one, I need up to about 15 minutes to let it dry up completely. But both are very effective. You guys have seen this a million times, this one. The face gel from uh, uh, Little Dream Garden. This one is a very gentle face exfoliator gel, which is very, very good. I love my toothbrush, electronic one. It's very good looking. What it reminds you? Does it remind you like, you know, uh, Giorgio Armani's liquid lipstick, isn't it? 
think it's from the brand called Bear. I used, I think this is their newer design. I used the older one, which is white. It has multiple functions. It has, you know, whiten your skin, cleaning, deep clean, fresh your teeth, um, like seven or eight functions. This one is fairly simple. This one only has one functions. It's for cleaning. That's what I need. And here is the toothpaste I recommended many times. This one is in pink version for whitening the teeth. This one is effective. If you haven't tried it, try one. You will clearly see the difference. And here uh, I bought another removal oil. This one mm, is like, a, mm, it's too gentle for my liking. If you just carry a light makeup, yes. If you just wear a sunblock, yes. But you know, if like the makeups I was wearing today, this one won't be able to remove that. And it does get a, it, it doesn't melt with the water that well. Therefore, after you finish it, you still feel your face a bit oily. So, yeah. If you're someone like me that you want to use some body lotion and body cream, but at the same time, you don't like the greasiness, you can't be bothered to rub it a million times to get it absorbed in your skin. And especially for summertime, you're already, you know, easy to get hot and sweaty. You don't want some another layer on top of it. You need something like this. This is very, very light and it's like a spray. Like that. And it's very, very light. Once you massage it out, look, it's become like water. Absorbed very, very quickly into your skin and weightless, absolutely weightless. Afterwards, your skin being hydrated, but you don't feel like you put something on. That's the best way to describe it. So I actually, I use the full bottle of this. This is my second one already. I really, really recommend to search. I, I'm not sure whether you can buy this brand. Um, I give a go. If I can find any links, I will put in my description box. If not, then uh, if you come to China, try this brand. Uh, so this is what I'm talking about. This room is my old room. So now it's been cleaned up for my uh, grandma. And my office is down here. I do apologize for the mess. And uh, yeah, I just finished filming another video. It is uh, yeah, whatever, ignore that. And as you guys probably can see, my background has changed. Uh, this fridge was in my um, bedroom, but now because of my grandma's here, this one makes a hell of a noise. Therefore, I still put the back in my office. So I got a slightly taller white jaw just to balance this one out. Recently, I discovered a very good eye cream is from L'Oreal Paris. This is their examples. My mom bought the full size one. Then she, you know, they gave so many, I think about five or seven samples. And my mom gave to me to try it out. This one is called Revitalift. This one I find is minimize, not minimize, kind of um, soothing the under eye lines very well. This eye cream is very easy to be absorbed and afterwards you feel your under eye area the skin surround eye area are very smooth. It is kind of um, help you to reduce the fine lines for your under eye area. Oh, this is way much better back on with my glasses and my eyes getting a bit dry. Oh, share with you guys a couple of nice things. Well, I suppose the first one is this bottle. This is a glass, uh, one litre. Or oh, it says uh, 900, but if you fill up here, it will be four litre glass bottle. When, when I was in UK, it is very hard to find a big glass bottle. When it's come to this size, majority are more plastic bottles.
but when you use for hot drinks um, for long term it is not that friendly you suppose use glasses better for cold drinks obviously not problem but this one is a full glass therefore i can use for herbal tea like this one i have two bags of chinese herbal tea in there it's just to help clear the throat my throat just once so often feel a little bit <clears throat> um and also this one can use for summer drinks and because of the size therefore you don't have to go up and down inside out to fill up water every 10 minutes especially very friendly in the office i don't know whether it was laziness or just can't be bothered that just stand up go to the water machine sometimes your water machine can be a little bit far away and sometimes when you're really busy you don't even have time to sip a water well i suppose that's not healthy but anyway when you have this size it is very convenient and also you can make sure once you drank the full bottle you had one liter of fluid in your body that's a healthy bit in it if you find anything like this in uk definitely get one yourself i would check out tk max if not amazon then check out tk max you probably have more chance to find a bottle like this Oh, and another little nice thing I found is for toast nails. I see it's summertime, right? So we all wear summer shoes. Then you have your toes coming out to say hi to everyone. I just realized I have a big spot here. Oh, never mind. Then, you know, for your toes, you also got to look after. But when you use nail varnish, sometimes it is easy to get chipped and you've got to remove it and reapply it again. Um, what I find very easy and convenient is something like this. It is called uh, Nail Nana, I think. So I got three, I got four boxes. I'm using one in the moment. This is more like a nude and red color combined. This is more like navy blue and silver. And this is more, um, I used set already. So let me see if I can show you guys. This is more like a oh, light pink. Those are very, very easy to use. And I really like the, oh, when you go inside, you open the box like this. This is, I suppose, is fairly common. You will see this type of nail this type of fake nails in boots, in Tesco's, in a lot of drug stores. But I find this one I like is because the thickness of the nail. Uh, one, it has three sides for your toes, nails, because, you know, everyone's toes are different sizes. Sometimes could be too big for you. But this one, within the three sides, you definitely can find the one to suit yourself. And another thing I like it is this one is thinner enough it is very thin like your own nail therefore when you put on top of it you don't feel the thickness and you, when you look from outside it's merged in with your skin and with your feet it looks just natural and this is very easy to use it come with a bottle glue if you feel this one damage your nail too much it also comes with oh let me it also comes with a little sticker like this so all you do is just to peel it the right size of the sticker stick it onto the nail and and put on your toes drop down and this huh it lasts you forever I my last set I want for about two weeks I only remove the one I need to cut my toes nail um, I just use this one you know taking shower going out wear slippers wear different type of shoes even wear trainers with socks this one will make the nail stay forever or stay on you I, just, I find it's weird to feel my own toes but have a look at this nails it looks like your own it is very very nice and I bought two box of perfume well for some of you may know that I don't really change perfumes 
uh, I normally find the one I like I stick with it until I feel the people surround me start using the same brand or same perfume then I jump into another one my and uh, current one at least is since I was in China until now I'm only using two one this one is from Jo Malone wood sage and sea salt and this was a birthday gift from my uh, husband I got the full bottle in UK then this I just bought a sample with me I've been using this one for about two three years already and in UK I also use is Miu Miu this one I really like Miu Miu's perfume it's their perfume is very very unique smell it's very very different if you smell uh, you know Miss Dior if you smell Lancome you will find that they pretty much falls into a similar range of very lady sweet type of smell even Chanel even some of Chanel's perfume collection but Miu Miu I find is very different when you smell this one I put the notes either here or here depends on which side has more space to type the notes in okay um, it, it's always very difficult to describe a perfume in, in front of camera you will read the notes yourself but how I would describe it is um, smells like natural it contains all the beautiful smells that you can catch from the nature that mix in this bottle when you carry it you blend in with the nature very well but you smell them the nicest if you know what I mean if you are in the shop then you know try a couple of spray on you you will like it and why I bought this too is purely because of a curiosity is on Chinese TikTok, on Chinese Taobao, on Chinese uh, lifestyle is the, the, the wind blowing this perfume is went over the roof and also because of the packaging and the look I just can't resist to not try this one this is from a French company called Bowie Town the name is here the pink one is most the popular one I had to smell myself the look is certainly my cup of tea and look at the details did you see the little dust like a rainbow dust in the bottle you're supposed to shake it did you see oh my god the the bottle the design the inside oh really really nice but the smell is very common it is a very a how to say it is a just a traditional lady perfume uh, has is very common sweetness in there um, I think a lot of brand even what name uh, next has a similar smell uh, perfume of this one if you go to next or Zara next time they do have a little perfume uh, test at the cashier and go and spray a couple of them and you will find a similarity of uh, this one easily it's just it is nice smell don't get me wrong but there is nothing special of it I think the most special is just the design of the bottle and most importantly is the inside the perfume and let's see the green bottle I haven't even opened this one yet okay it is exactly the same design but more in a, like a Tiffany blue and if you shake it this one also have like a, a dust very fine dust silver dust in there this one smells way much lighter than this this is more towards neutral tone I think guys also can use it this one is very much like a cool tone clear smell it is it is not very sweet instead it's more grassy grassy and more wooden smell not my cup of tea 
Oh well, this one will be for decoration purposes only, I think. I think that's about it for today's random video, just to share the little things I use on a daily basis and the little things I do appreciate in my life. Thank you so much guys for watching. If you like it, don't forget to click the like button and most importantly to subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon.